When looking to ultimately have the succession of your business, you need to look at potential family members that really have a passion and an interest in the long-term growth and uh, success of the business. Those individuals that have that passion and a desire to continue to be part and parcel of the business, have a direct involvement, those would likely be the starting points. Um, you're going to have additional family members that are going to continue to be perhaps part of the business, but you need to identify someone who's really going to have a long-term commitment and a desire and a passion to lead the business. The owner originally had that passion and when you look to transfer that, that next leader's got to have the similar passion to carry the business through to the next generation. In selecting a successor, you want to look at whether that individual is eager to take on that role. Do they even understand all the requirements of that role and do they know all the sacrifices that will be required to take on that role? You want to look at whether that individual has the right skills. Do they have the right managerial skills, the right training skills, the right technical skills, marketing and even personnel skills? If that person doesn't, you may consider going outside of the family to find that person who's going to be the successor. Always keep in mind that the owners of the business do not necessarily need to be the managers of the business. The most important thing is to realize that this is a process. It can take from three to five years in, from the point of identifying that successor all the way to the point where you've actually made that succession. So take your time, start early, and try and be as objective as you can.